So even if the word atheism came in from that, that, that French word and it hit the English language before theism might have done, it still had a route further. And even still, even with everything he acts, I mean, the person who was the first atheist, Kaizen or whatever, the first person to use the word atheist said it meant that he believed gods do not exist. So that's going back to the first atheist. Um, again, that was something I looked up in that article against Aaron Ra, where he had a little paragraph. And you know what? There have been people who throughout the years who have described different types of atheist, but it's been realised that there are more logical and specific ways to treat the language. Because again, we want clear and concise, you know, and accurate communication. So again, <laughs> we're back to, okay, so words have been used in different ways. Words are used in different ways. We don't use atheism in the same way that atheos was used. Uh, we don't talk about it as someone that is God forsaken or someone that doesn't believe in the gods of state and of the state anymore. We talk about it in the terms that someone believes that gods do not exist. Or, as some people do, someone that lacks belief in gods. Um, so, I mean, they're two common uses. They're the two main uses of atheist and, a and, and atheism. Um, but you know, if you have a look at the way it's it's done logically and you, you th consider a proposition using propositional logic, you'll realise that it's a much clearer way to communicate your position. And I don't know why people who only lack belief are so adverse to being called an agnostic. I'm agnostic towards the proposition God exists. What's wrong with that? You know? Nothing. It's a perfectly yeah. rational position to hold as long as you can justify it.